Yo, what's going on guys, this is Soul Sharker. welcome back to another Minecraft script coding episode, and today we're getting into commands. So, commands are definitely one of my favorite, because you can make a whole bunch of custom commands and aliases. So today we're just going to be making a simple heal command, and then later on in the episode we'll... Later on in further episodes, we'll get more advanced with command cooldowns and like teleportation commands and a whole bunch of different commands that you guys can make. So let's get right into it. We're going to get right into the command. So the thing that you want to do is type in command and then you want to do your command that you want with the slash. So we're just going to call this heal and then end with a colon because that's we're not going to use any arguments in this video. So arguments is something that can have like if you want to heal and then players so you can heal that specific player but in this one we're just going to be healing ourselves so we'll do that and then there's several options that you guys can have i'm just going to type it out real quick there's six different options that you guys can have so you have a description a usage a permission node and a permission message that, that, that my tongue got twisted there and you can also have executable by and then aliases basically all these six things are optional except for the trigger you all, always need a trigger when you're doing a command but these six things are optional I'm going to show you all these six different options of what they do personally I never use the description I use most of them uh, except this ex executable by so I just mainly use these usage ones and aliases so feel free once you get comfortable you can use uh, all those six ones or none or <laughs> whatever you want so description I just call this a uh, heal command basically it just tells you how to use the command so we'll go ahead and um, we'll do uh, heal slash heal so go ahead and do slash heal then a permission node so we'll do heal dot admin so that will be our permission node now our message that we want so uh you do not have access to this command so we'll go ahead and do that and then executable by so we'll do executable by players um, this one, uh, their options is players or council, so if you make a command that you only want council to run, council to run, you can just put council there, but uh, we want it by players, so we'll just do players, and then that way if you try to type it in command uh, in the council, it won't let you. Then our aliases, so we could do uh, slash h and uh, slash heals and slash feels <laughs> so we'll just do all that and then our trigger so this is something your trigger is what you always always need when running a command so we want to space it out so we'll uh, tab it out so the trigger that we want will heal the player obviously and then we'll set food level of player to 20 so that just basically sets the food level you can't just feed player there that's not <laughs> a real code so you have to set the uh, food level of player 220 so we'll send the player a message so send uh, you have been healed just like that we'll end it off you have been healed and that's pretty much all that's pretty self-explanatory so we'll go ahead and save that so now in game we can do sk reload join make sure as you see we have no errors so i want to go ahead up so i'm going to go ahead up 20 blocks and we'll do gm0 and uh we'll heal ourselves you have been healed as you see that works fantastic so we'll also spawn spawn mob zombies we'll go ahead ahead and uh, take some damage so we're taking some damage here go ahead and heal myself you have been healed so we'll run around we're almost almost dead so we have a one minute poison so our heal command we actually didn't uh say to take any potion effects so it shouldn't take any po yeah so it doesn't take any potion effects it just heals uh your hearts and your hunger so say you wanted to remove the any potion effects that you have so it's pretty simple we'll go back into our code so what i'm going to be doing in our code is executing a vanilla council command and you can use script code uh, to remove all active potion effects from player that requires a dependency. In this video, I'm just using the normal script plugin. So we're going to go ahead and execute a council command. And then our council command is going to be effect. And then the player's name. So make sure you get the player's name. And then we'll just clear. And that just basically clears all potion effects from that player. So we'll go ahead and save our code. And then we'll go back in game so uh sk reload join make sure that works fantastic so we'll go ahead and heal ourselves as you see 
There are no active potion effects uh, because our poison ran out, so we'll give myself some more poison. So as you see, took all effects from Soul Striker. So that uh, this message is from the normal council. If you guys want to remove that, you can also do a game rule. And then uh, it's like, sis, yeah, send command feedback and then change that to false. No annoying council messages, as you see, it's fantastic. So say if you guys wanted to change your code a little bit, so to send, uh, as you see, I'm full health, but I'm still getting healed. So I'm going to change a little bit of the code um, so to show you guys. So we're going to be using an if statement to check if the player's health is already full. So we're going to do if player's health is 10 so with script uh it uses 10 with java code it's uh 20 so like 20.0 is uh with java but with script it's just 10 so if player's health is 10 we're gonna go ahead and send a message saying uh you you are already full health so we'll go ahead and send that message so now if we just send it like that uh here i'll show you in game real quick so if we go ahead and do that so sk re reload join so as you see, it says you are already full health, but you have already been healed. We don't want that. We want to see if if the player's health is already 10, we want to send them this message. Right? We don't want them the rest of the code. We don't want the rest of the code to be executed. So we're going to have an else statement. So basically what else statement is saying, if uh, the player's health is not uh, at 10, then we can go ahead and run this code. So that is where your else statement is very helpful so if the player's health is 10 you're already full if it's not 10 go ahead and heal the player so we're going ahead and save that so then we'll go back in game over here so sk reload join so as you see no errors successfully loaded we're gonna go ahead gm0 go up here and fall down so okay uh, you have been healed. Let's heal myself again. As you see, you are already at full health. So that is how you determine if the player is already full. One last thing I want to show you guys is the aliases that we made. So if we do slash H, as you see, it runs the same thing. If we do heals, and if we also do feels, it runs the exact same thing. If so, if we fly up here and fall down and execute the same aliases, we should get the same thing. So we'll do feels. As you see, we have been healed. So if we do slash H, as you see, you are already at full health. So that is to show you that the aliases and everything that does work then we go ahead and de-op myself real quick to make sure our permission message does work as well so if we do heal as you see we don't have access to that command so that is pretty much everything for this first tutorial so we're going to be diving into a lot of uh commands just because there's so many things that you can do and it's very very essential uh if you're running scripts so i just wanted to throw that out there let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see next so that pretty much wraps up this uh, video and we're going to be doing a lot of command coding in future episodes so just expect a lot more commands for like four or five or maybe even ten episodes down the road so just because it's so in depth and so many things you can do with this so if you guys did enjoy it leave a like down below and i will see you guys next time peace